Someone has sent me two gigantic mystery boxes. And in this video, we're gonna be opening both of these boys. Another day, another beautiful WWE action figure unboxing today, man. We got two big boxes. I mean, you could, you know what? You know, size is subjective, I guess. It's up to you what you consider big, but here's a standard WWE Elite. You guys can see the, the size difference between the Bray Wyatt figure and the two boxes here. But nonetheless, man, we got two of these boxes. These do come to us from one of our patron members. Huge shout out to my patrons. Absolute best unit of patrons on the internet. Shout out to the MDT patrons for the continued support here on the channel. This comes to us from my man, Action underscore Customs 827. Be sure to give him a follow on Instagram. Got some really cool Customs has a really cool page over there. Definitely go check him out. But today, I was unaware. He hit me up. He said, I'm sending you a mystery box. And I had no idea that it was two boxes. He may have said that it was two boxes, but I'm a complete jackass. So I probably missed it. But we have two boxes here. We got like a medium size and then we got a larger size, I'd say. This is more of like a shoebox almost size. And then you have this size, which is more of like maybe, you could probably fit like two men on card WWE figures in here. But both of them feel pretty hefty. So with all those things being said, man, let's dive into this unboxing. I can't wait. The only way we open boxes, though, is with one special tool. And no, we're not talking about the Mouska tool here, Brad. We're talking about the good old, the legendary, probably the first induction into the MDT Hall of Fame. Need to do that every year. Need to have an MDT Hall of Fame starting next year or something. We have the good old... It's the, it's the trusty knife, for the love of God. Yes, I did. What the hell was that? What the hell is even that? Seriously though, how many times have we done that gimmick? In the History's channel since... In the History's channel. What a freaking buffoon. Yes, I did. In the channel's history, how many times have we done the trusty knight gimmick? <clears throat> and how many times have I made a weird noise and stabbed the package? I mean, it's gotta be... I know we're close to My Damn Hall's episode 100, which is gonna be legendary in itself. I think this is episode 88 or something like that. This is another edition of My Damn Hall's, by the way, if I didn't say that. The intro is what gives it away. But here we go. We got the brown box. Which one should we open first? Let's go with the larger one. Bigger is better as they say let's go with the larger one guys should be really fun my god the leg of my tripod is like snapped in half anyways i think i'm gonna get from this angle right here and we'll open up the flaps and then i'll reveal each figure as we always do but we do got a slice over the box so we'll come over here give it a little slice give it a little slice here now i have no ideas what's uh, you know what's in here so it's gonna be a su surprise as well to me man so everything you're gonna see is gonna be all genuine reaction 100 and i did open up the box we always open it from the bottom so we open it from the bottom just because i don't ha i don't like like coloring out and trying to make the, you know, the addresses and everything like that hidden. So I always open it from the bottom here. Alrighty, boys, let's see what we got in package. We have this brown paper satchel, and oh my god, there's an animated Spider-Man figure in here. I'm gonna be real with you. Didn't see that one coming, Brad. Did not see that one coming. It looks like it's been on card, and it looks like it is the Spider Armor Mark One, which actually is a figure that I have not quite gotten in on card just yet. I see another men on card figure. And I'm guessing that my man actually customs over here. No knows that uh, I'm a big animated Spider-Man fan, and I'm trying to get all of these men on card. So actually, this is one I don't think I have loose or men on card. So dude, thank you so much for this. Look at this right here. I, I was not expecting a Spider-Man figure whatsoever, so that, that kind of shocks me. Looks beautiful, looks excellent. Card's in great shape. Wow, I appreciate that, bro. Beautiful looking figure. I almost bought this like eight times, and I've always just like, I always just avoided it, so now that I have it, thank you, bro. Beautiful. Pulling out the plastic wire. So I see some loose figs, and I see some men on card figures. This figure right here, no. It looks like we have again. Oh, these are beautifully wrapped, by the way. We have another animated Spider-Man figure, and it is the Sandman. Hell yeah. Dude, how beautiful. What a great figure. Thank you, bro. So we got the Sandman here. You're not gonna tell me the Sandman in ECW shouldn't have came out in a striped green sweater and some brown pants? Just once. Just one time. Beautiful figure there. Dude, the Marvel Legends. Was not expecting the Marvel Legends. Actually blowing my mind right now. What else we got? Some more brown paper. Nice packing in here. We have... Okay, what is this? Super Showdown 19 Custom Fig. Okay, Super Showdown 19. Super Showdown 2019. 
Who wrestled? I know Seth Rollins. I think he defended against Trash Corbin. I think he was in the Avengers gear. Is this an Avengers quantum suit Seth Rollins? Or Finn Balor wrestled Andrade for that IC title, I think, in the Demon. So maybe this is a Demon Finn Balor. We will not find out unless we rip this son of a bitch open. And we're opening it up here. And oh my God in heaven, it is Finn Balor. Dude, look at that right there. Dude, what a sweet custom, bro. This is actually one I do not have in my collection. I do not have this specific demon. So, if you guys were unaware, I tried to collect, like, every single version of the demon or, you know, Prince Devitt wearing his body paint from the indies. Trying to get every single one, and this is one I did not have. So, dude, I appreciate it. Details look great. I think you did a fantastic... If you made this yourself, it looks fantastic, bro. You did a great job. It's very, very clean. Very bright. Painted on very well. I've painted this face paint before on some WrestleMania demons or WrestleMania 35 demons, so I know how challenging that is. This looks fantastic, bro. Thank you. This looks great. Great. You did a great job. Well, how the hell do you top that? How do you possibly top a custom like that? And it looks like we have another men on card figure here. And it is an AEW. It looks like we have the, the Target exclusive Sammy Guevara AEW unrivaled figure with the TNT Championship. Beautiful looking figure. I love the red foil that they put on this figure. This thing looks really, really good. So huge shout out to you, bro. That looks amazing. Thank you so much for the men on card. Men on card figures, man. I used to tell myself I'd never be a men on card collector. And then I don't know what happened. But we got more figures in here. Let's go ahead and keep going. And we have that whole other box, man. I, I'm tripping. I don't know what the hell to say. You guys are unbelievable that send in these boxes and I'm just truly grateful for them. Oh my god, bro. Is this an animate? Is this a retro card? J. Jonah Jameson? Retro card J. Jonah Jameson. How beautiful. Wish we'd get some more suited figures like this from WWE, man. Different body molds. He's even got the rolled up newspaper. Excellent, bro. Excellent. What a great figure. Man, dude, I appreciate this so much. I bet a lot of people didn't expect to see some Spider-Man figures in here, but here we are. Moving on. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? It looks like I think I see the GOAT right here. Is this the GOAT? John Cena Top Talents remake of the Elite 3 here. Beautiful figure. I love the blue armbands. This was, this was one of my favorite figures they did back at uh, last year's WrestleMania. I think it's when they showed off WrestleMania 38 Axis. You guys know we actually got to go this year at WrestleMania 39, the Superstore. I remember being blown away by this reveal because I was like, wow, Wow, they're actually like kind of going back and fixing up figures they've done in the past. So the Elite 3 John Cena. I don't see the hat. I don't know if it's in here somewhere, but nonetheless, beautiful figure. And I appreciate that, bro. Great figure. Clearing out some of the stuff that we got in here. I think we have two more figures in here, maybe? Yeah, I think we have two more figures here. Let's find out who they are getting open this package here and ripping it open. What do we have? An AEW Unrivaled 8 Chris Jericho. Beautiful looking figure. I feel like AEW figures have been really quiet lately, but Love this jacket. Always love this face paint. AEW series number eight. This is probably the best figure in the set if I had to remember off the cuff. And he included the hat, bro. So that's beautiful. Pain maker Jericho. Hell yeah. Great stuff. Dude, that freaking custom Finn Balor, dude. Oh my god. I can't wait to put that up on the shelf with the rest of the demons. It's gonna be a movie. Next up, we have our final figure in this package. And we're gonna find out what we got here. Ripping it open here undialing that and we have an elite undertaker and this one which one is this is this the network spotlight undertaker i think this is the network spotlight undertaker and i'm pretty sure i never found this figure back in the day it was a toys r us exclusive if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong about that but what a freaking great figure man i love the torso on this guy and i don't think i own this figure but dude thank you so much for this piece what an epic this is not something i would expect this is beautiful bro thank you so much what a great Great figure. I think this is the network spotlight, if I'm not mistaken. So we gotta take this one box, move it out of the way for our second mystery box, and we also gotta use the trusty knife to open him back up again. We're not gonna do a reshoot. We don't redo the Dolph Ziggler theme popping out with the knife. We only do it one time. Everybody gets one. All right. Slice here, turning it here, getting another slice in here. I have cut the hell out of myself before, so I don't wanna redo that one, but opening it up here. Dude, I'm so excited to get into this next box. I have no idea what we're going to deal with here, man. You guys are unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Taking out this. Another men on card? What is this? Is is this a shark elite men on card? The shark elite men on card. Let's be very careful here. Are you kidding me, Brad? The shark elite. The shark elite. Dude, what a piece. What a piece. Bro, it's like an $80 elite men on card. Are you kidding me? I don't even want to touch it. I got to get a defender for this guy. You guys know the 
Mock Elite Collection in MDT's collection is not very massive, but having this and having it sent in by Action Customs must keep it mint on card. Must keep it mint on card. This is actually a beautiful package as well. You have like the shark teeth going around here and up here. Mattel did a really great job on this guy. What a beautiful piece, man. This is not, this is like something you wouldn't ever expect. I have no words, man. MDT Nation is the greatest of all time. Okay. Let's settle down. Let's try to bring it back in here. Let's reel her back in. Let's see what else we have in here. Is that a ringside exclusive? NWO, John Cena, men on card. Should I bring it out already or should I wait? Maybe we should like, let's just get some of these figures out of the way and then we'll pull it out and then we will unbag the rest of the figures. Let's see here. Let's just gracefully take this out. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put these figures back in here and then we'll unbag those because I want to look at the NWO, John Cena, ringside exclusive figure here and it doesn't even look like this has been should i even break this i'm not breaking it i'm not breaking it look it's like completely sealed here i it's not even the seal right there's not even broken is there even a john cena in here you know what i mean holy hell if you guys were unaware john cena is my favorite wrestler of all time this is beautiful and this is probably going to kickstart my men on card john cena collect i've always wanted to do it it's not something that's very feasible at this time but i do believe we are moving houses in the next couple months and we're going to have a brand new room brand new room tour and we're going to have a men on card john cena set to go in there man beautiful thank you brother so yeah we are going to be getting a new home and with that the size of the office or the size of the mdt room is going to significantly be bigger gonna be a lot more space a lot cleaner but nonetheless let's shut the hell up and get into these oh my jesus is this what I think it is, Brad? This is a beautiful fix-up that I actually posted, and this is the way this figure should have came, man. Instead, we got that Buns WrestleMania Elite Edge. This is exactly how the figure should have came, bro. Great head sculpt. You put the pissed-off Edge head sculpt on there. Terry Funk torso. This figure is fantastic, bro. Thank you so much. This is great. This is great. I love that. This is one of my favorite Edge head sculpts I've ever done. Next up. Oh, crap. I think I recognize these pants and if I am correct it is a Carlito basic this is a very early on Mattel basic I think it came in a pa battle pack with Hunico I think Carlito I wish that dude I wish he'd sign a deal back when he was in the company for what like remember he was like in the Royal Rumble or something and he stuck around for like a couple months or something like that we should have gotten an elite right there they should I, I bet they tried to probably but man I would love a Carlito elite would have been perfect in the ruthless aggression way thank you bro this is a basic I've owned a couple times and I've always customized it so this is beautiful I think I used this afro for a no way Jose way back in the day next up is is a figure that I actually, he might have sent this in. This is actually a great piece because I think he sent this in because I turned mine into my wife using the face sculpt because it actually looks like my wife a lot. And dude, this is great. Elite 77 Miss Elizabeth. Now, when it first was shown off and this was going to be a part of the wave, not my go-to figure, but it's a great figure. Very underrated. You have the dress, you have the sleeves, and this goes perfect with our Mega Powers 2-pack now. Double jointed knees, high heels, this is great, but let me show you something. I used it for my wife's figure, so I used the, the head sculpt, and then I put a Trish Stratus hair piece on there, and it looks just like my wife. It's kind of wild how much it looks like her. It's kind of scary, so thank you, bro. That looks amazing. Getting the Miss Elizabeth back in the collection is huge, but we're still going. We got a few more elites here. Okay, this might actually be a figure I've never even owned before, and a figure that I have wanted for a very long time. We have the basic AJ Lee figure. I think this is a basic. I'm pretty sure it's a basic. This was so sought after when it first released. I mean, it's still sought after, but the necklace, the bracelets, the, the sculpt on the top. Now, let's be real here. Head sculpt wasn't great, but for back in the day, I think it gets the job done, man. Thank you so much, bro. Look, the Converse boots. Dude, what a piece. Another one that I did not expect. This is one that I would not expect, bro. You guys are so unbelievable. Uh, I think you guys are going to check me into a mental institution after all these damn mystery unboxings in the My Damn Halls episodes. I'm gonna have to go get checked mentally. I mean, I probably should anyway, but next up. Man, we got three more figures here. Let's see what we got. Uh, I think this is another figure that I do not have. I don't know if he, like, did a biopic on my freaking collection and was like, well, he doesn't have this. The Elite, I think 78, Chase Naomi figure. I think this is the Chase. I'm pretty sure it is. Feel the glow. She's got the neon ombre hair. Neon women's championship. Feel the glow. She's got her, her sneakers on here with that glow in the dark and have the lights. 
Dude, what a beautiful figure. I do not have the chase. This is the chase version, bro. Thank you, dude. Wow, what a piece. Sick figure, man. This looks so much better in, in person. This might actually be like one of my favorite women's figures I've ever done. This is great, dude. Colors, head sculpt, hair, attire, details. Beautiful. All right, man, we're finishing it up. We got two figures left. Okay, I think I see. Is this a Conor McGregor? We got the Conor McGregor UFC Jazzwares figure. And it sucks because they, like, discontinued this line, but, dude, what a sick figure. What a really cool figure, man. This is awesome. I wish they continued this line. And I'm not, like, a massive UFC guy, but this is still, like, having action figures of people in general, I just love it. So, like, I'm an action figure guy. Not only am I just a wrestling action figure guy, I just enjoy action figures in general. So getting a Conor McGregor, like, been able to pose this guy around stuff like that like my dream elite set or not dream elite set but dream action figure line would be like adam sandler i want like adam sandler action figures like highly posable happy gilmore or sunny from big daddy or billy madison you know what i mean i just want like an action figure way so i know we kind of went off the cuff there but that's a beautiful piece bro thank you for the ufc conor mcgregor and we're fi i think this is the last figure i believe it's the last figure we have a figure that again, I'm pretty sure I either customized or I got rid of. But it is the Elite 74, which is one of the best Elite Waves of all time, in my own personal opinion. The Elite 74 Goldberg from 2004. What a beautiful piece. Yelling head sculpt. Goldberg, white and black tights, man. This is a great figure. Great head sculpt. This is this is excellent. I'm pretty sure I broke it down to make a custom or something like that. So, you shout out to you, bro. Again, I think you did like a... I don't know if you did a detailed look at my collection. You can let me know or what, what the hell you did, but you have outdone yourself. You filled some holes in the collection, man. I am so thankful and grateful for this unboxing, bro. Let me get everything together here. So here's the entire haul all up next to each other, man. I am unbelievably blessed and thankful for this mystery unboxing today, man. Thank you so much to Action Customs 827, guys. Be sure to go give him a follow. Give him a thank you from the channel. Man, I appreciate you so much, brother. This is an unbelievable unboxing. Everybody that sends stuff in and writes to the channel and sends me kind messages, man, you guys are are the absolute best and none of this stuff would be possible without any of you so I definitely appreciate all of you guys so very much another fantastic episode of My Damn Halls unbelievable we're on the slow approach to episode 100 and if you guys have any cool ideas for episode 100 please let me know I am in constant like trying to come up with some stuff and, and trying to figure out what we want to do I definitely want to include everybody in that and somehow get some of you guys involved or something like that. We're definitely going to we're gonna do a deep dive and, and see what we can do about that. But a huge shout out to my man, Action Customs, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you so much, brother, for this unbelievable box. I have no words. You guys always leave me speechless with, with what you guys send in and the words you say about the channel and the positivity, man. You guys are absolutely unbelievable. But I think that's going to wrap up this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I think if I had to pick one thing, if I had to pick one thing from the Boxing, that's my absolute favorite. It's the custom, man. The custom's unbelievable. I like stuff that's like, you know, custom made things that we don't have from Mattel. I think it takes it just a little bit step above maybe everything else. Maybe but just a fraction because the rest of this stuff is so sick. But that is going to wrap it up, man. Thank you so much for watching, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Check out the Patreon and the merch links down in the comment section below. I greatly appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never be